Meanwhile, the Nigeria Senate has discovered a fraud in the oil theft and conversion of proceeds from sale of the crude oil from Nigeria National Petroleum Commission, NNPC. The Chairman Senate Committee on Ethics, Public Petition and Privileges, Senator Neda Imasuen Edo South, discovered this following a petition by Mr. Mwachuku Ebezi from right of democracy volunteers and was laid at the floor of the committee according to Obezier, Nigeria National Petroleum Company Limited allegedly submitted a commercial invoice to Duke Oil Limited, a subsidiary of uh, NNPC, but the said oil they claimed to supply did not exist. This company allegedly submitted um, a commercial invoice to to Duke Oil Limited. This Duke Oil Limited is a subsidiary company of the NMPC. Then what happened was that because Duke Oil is a subsidiary company to the NMPC, and the invoice they equally submitted was to the tune of 15 million. 5,500 and something million naira. So they, 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 they submitted the, the said invoice and to do call it, and the approval was given by NMPC via, which was effected by the Nigerian, uh, by the National Petroleum Investment Management Services as contained in the petition. And when they were sourcing for the FX, even instead of sourcing for the exact amount which they even alleged to have been uh, 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 sold, they sourced for $30 million. And when investigations was carried out, it transpired that this, the, the said documents that was used to secure the transactions were fake and that the said oil they claimed to have, or gas oil they seemed to have, uh, uh, supplied did not exist. The chairman and the members of the committee in their resolution summoned the Nigeria National Petroleum Limited and Duke Oil for clarification. This is a very, very serious allegation. And it's also very, very important to us all, not just as a parliament, but as Nigerians. Because the kind of money we are, the, you are alluding to here uh, can do a lot for, for, the, for the nation. We understand that. But it's, very also, it's also very important that we bring these other parties here. They must come. And so I've just confirmed with my colleagues, and we're in agreement that we should adjourn and then write a very strong letter to, to Duke Oil and NMPL to ensure that in the next date of sitting that we will give, that they will come and come with all relevant information that they have that will allow us to get to the bottom of this. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.